In order to really get past the global coronavirus pandemic, we need to ensure that as many people as possible throughout the world are vaccinated. And unfortunately, we are nowhere near that because low income countries have not even seen 50% of their population vaccinated. In fact, they haven't even seen 10% of their population vaccinated. Less than 9% of people in poorer countries have been vaccinated, but the rest, no vaccination in sight because of the fact that we're dealing with Pfizer, we're dealing with Moderna, I mean, not Moderna. Uh, we're, de- we're dealing with private uh, insurance companies and more importantly, private pharmaceutical companies that refuse to give up their patents on these vaccines. Now, there are some heroes in the world, and there are two specific researchers who have developed what's referred to as an open source vaccine. It's exciting news because they found a way to develop a vaccine that relies on more affordable technology. And it is incredibly effective and they have no interest in profit. They just wanna distribute this vaccine far and wide. They wanna ensure that low income countries are able to use it. The only problem is they need resources to distribute this vaccine. And unfortunately, the United States has offered absolutely no help. Now, let's talk a little bit about the two scientists who have done this. Dr. Peter Hotez and Dr. Maria Botazzi are professors at the Baylor College of Medicine and co-directors of the Texas Children's Center for Vaccine Development, where they are renewing their pleas for the US government and other G7 countries to financially support the mass production of Corbivax, the world's first open source patent free COVID-19 vaccine that's being distributed on a mass scale. So again, without vaccine equality, low income nations are gonna continue suffering from this pandemic. But more importantly, if let's say you don't care about poor countries, which is awful and you only think about your own personal experience with this pandemic. We're not gonna get through it and we're not gonna stop seeing variants of the coronavirus unless we get more people vaccinated on a global scale. Now the doctors helped create what they call the vaccine for all with a recombinant protein subunit technology, a type of vaccine that has been used to treat hepatitis B for over four decades. Lower income countries are able to mass produce these protein vaccines more easily and ones that rely on newer technology like Pfizer or Bio. BioNTech and Moderna's MRA design. So it's cheaper than what we're getting here in the United States, which does rely on newer technology, right? The mRNA technology. So with that said, I do wanna go to this quick video that features one of the researchers who developed this, Dr. Peter Hotez. And he not only explains how this vaccine works, but just how important it is to get the support, to get the resources necessary to distribute it far and wide. Let's watch. Pfizer and Moderna use similar mRNA technology. How does the science behind your vaccine differ? Ours is an older technology, Alicia, the same technology used to make the recombinant hepatitis B vaccine or a similar technology. It's a, it's actually a vegan vaccine. It's a recombinant protein vaccine made in yeast. This, uh, this is technology has been around for almost 40 years. It's been used to make the hepatitis B vaccine, which is safe and even used in kids. Our, we are Texas Children's Center for Vaccine Development. We like to say we make the vaccines the pharma companies won't make. We make vaccines for parasitic infections such as Chagas disease, which is decimating the poor across Latin America, schistosomiasis, the poor in, in, in Africa who acquire female genital schistosomiasis, a scourge of 40 million girls and women. We use that same approach for making our coronavirus vaccine starting a decade ago and now a COVID-19 vaccines. We've licensed We've licensed it with no patent, no strings attached now to vaccine producers in India, Indonesia, Bangladesh, and Botswana. India is the furthest along, an extraordinary group of collaborators there known as Biological E. And they've been producing their vaccine called Corbivax that we transferred the technology to. We helped in the co-development. 
So Corby Vax has already proven to be extremely effective against coronavirus. It's it's proven to be effective against Omicron with a booster of this vaccine. And again, it is a cheaper vaccine that has been proven to be effective that does not have a patent and does not have a profit motive behind it. In fact, in an interview, Dr. Hortez also said this, our goal is to save lives, not make a profit. We knew that the resource We knew for resource poor settings, there'd be a learning curve before you could make enough mRNA vaccines for the 9 billion doses that would likely be needed for Africa, Asia, Latin America. So we right off the bat, took a different approach to use the technology that we have used before to partner with vaccine developers in low and middle income countries. I mean, think about how incredible these researchers are and how important their work really is. You know, for for those who have experienced some vaccine hesitancy as a result of the profit motive behind it, you know, it's an understandable suspicion. I, I I understand that reasoning behind it. I don't agree with it in this context because there's endless data showing that um, the mRNA vaccines are uh, safe and have saved lives. But in this case, this vaccine relies on older technology and is still proven to be incredibly effective and More importantly, it doesn't have a profit motive. So this is something that could even be an option in the United States if the United States was receptive to it. But unfortunately, their reaction to this has not been a good one. So um, as Vice reports to date, the United States and European countries have hoarded vaccines and pharmaceutical companies and the United States government have refused to share the manufacturing know-how and recipes. The philanthropic arm of the Texas-based Tito's Vodka, which donated $1 million to this effort, has actually contributed more funds than the US government. So just just let that sink in for a second, okay? I am not in favor of like, oh wow, look at this corporation. They're doing charity work, let's give them a pat on the back. I'm not, I'm not one of those people, okay? I don't wanna rely on private companies to take care of us. However, the fact that a tequila company has provided more resources for this effort than the United States government should enrage every single one of you. And to be sure, it enrages me, especially when you think about the fact that Joe Biden paid lip service to lifting the patents on the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, but then put absolutely no action behind it, none, zero. I mean, this is who Biden is. Biden is Mr. Talk a big game and then do absolutely nothing because he likes the positive PR. He wants people to get off his back, but he doesn't want to do the work, the very simple work necessary to save lives, whether it be with his own Build Back Better agenda or in this case, with making vaccines accessible to as many people across the globe as possible. And why is that? You guys know that this country is ruled by corporate interests. Pharmaceutical companies hate the idea that there's an open source vaccine, a patentless vaccine available. It also costs a lot less. So what if the United States may be considered paying for a cheaper vaccine? And I wanna give you those numbers as well in just a moment, but few more details for you. More than two thirds of Congress cashed a check from the pharmaceutical industry ahead of the 2020 election, according to Stat News. So the issue of money in politics is real. When I talk about corporate rule, I'm not just making it up. I'm not using hyperbole. It's right there, plain as day, it's in the numbers. Let me give you more. Tax filings from 2020 show that Biotechnology Innovation Organization, Bio, a group that lobbies on behalf of Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson and Johnson, and other biotech companies, gave half a million dollars to Majority Forward, a democratic fact checking and research website. Oh, I wonder if that money has any impact on their fact checking. I mean, what a joke, but it continues. One Nation, a GOP aligned dark money group also received a quarter million dollars from bio in 2020. So look, money in politics is something that infects both parties. There's no question about it. And when I say that this open source vaccine is great because of the fact that there's no profit motive and it's patentless and it's cheaper, this is what I mean. 
In July of 2021, the United States government and Pfizer, okay, they signed a $3.5 billion contract for the purchase of 500 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine for international donation to low and middle income countries. Oh, Wow, that seems really nice. Each Pfizer dose costs $7, whereas Biological E, an Indian company that has licensed Corbivax, is selling each of its shots for about a dollar, one dollar versus seven dollars. So we are spending seven times the amount necessary to purchase doses of the Pfizer vaccine for low income countries around the world. And clearly we haven't purchased enough, especially when you consider that only less than 9% of the population in these low income countries are fully vaxxed. It's just so incredibly shameful. And when you see the greed and the damage that we do, um, the, that the US government does around the world, you can understand hostility toward the country. You can understand the criticism toward our country. We always put profits over people. And even in a global pandemic, it doesn't change. The corporate rule still plays a dominant role in the decision making among our lawmakers, and that includes Democrats and Republicans. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges, you've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.